for a while seen a police officer in uniform I'd have like flashbacks if something happened to me again I don't think I'd ever report it. This is a serving police officer so traumatised by abuse from a fellow officer that she's questioning her own force of Humberside. And her testimony suggests there might be the need for a Louise Casey-style review into sexism and other failings in every police force, not just London's. Sally says the sexism starts the moment you arrive. The conversations quickly turn sexual. Right. I was sort of propositioned. You feel like you're fresh meat, that's the attitude. You feel like fresh meat coming in. And when I started to speak out about it and started telling people, everyone was like, oh yeah, he's done it to me. Oh yeah, he's done it to me. And it's always the same officers. Humberside Constabulary was rated outstanding by the police inspectorate. But Sally says when it became known she'd reported a fellow officer for sexual violence, her colleagues rallied around him. I was ostracised, given cold shoulder. So I'd be stared at or given dirty looks. They were like schoolyard bullies. After the misconduct hearing, so after he lost his job, I lost count of the amount of officers that came up to me and said, I was always being like that. Really? Yeah. And he'd been in the job a really long time. And I thought, well, why have they not said anything then? Yeah. He basically had the same nicknames as those monsters in the Met. Wayne Cousins was nicknamed the rapist by fellow officers before he murdered Sarah Everard. David Carrick, a serial rapist, was in the same unit. Now the Casey Review has found the Met Police is institutionally sexist. But does it go wider? Sally says in Humberside, for example, colleagues knew that one predatory officer would get vulnerable victims' details from statements to ask them on dates. And you think he was known for this? His full shift would have known what he were like. What's a full shift? Oh, I reckon, on each team, I reckon 20 police officers. And Sky News has evidence of bad attitudes potentially impacting investigations. Anna alleged as a teenager she was being raped by a gang of men who intimidated her into going back to them. She used what's called a subject access request to get Humberside police records on herself. She found these types of comments made by officers. If the reports are genuine, we have a very vulnerable victim who keeps putting herself in danger. This is a very regular occurrence. The female herself is making lifestyle choices of her own. This victim doesn't come across as the best type of witness victim that I've seen. That whole time I was still under social services. I was really vulnerable. I was on a protection plan. It said how I was getting strangled, I was being sexually assaulted, I was high risk, but they never did anything to stop that. It's very much attention seeker, lifestyle choices, maybe putting herself at risk is another thing that comes up. So they're kind of blaming you. There's no wonder the case was never brought to court because before it's even got there, they've completely undermined it. I think they basically set that case up to fail. In one extract, they seem to accept the alleged attacker's story, saying the victim states that she's received injuries and these have been seen by police officers. The issue that we have is that the suspect admits to causing these injuries to the victim, but states that these were with consent, as the victim says she liked it. It is difficult for us to disprove this, and I would suggest the victim is too undermined in this investigation to take her word above that of the suspect. I think it's quite disgusting. Like, how they can say that someone would enjoy being injured. It makes me really angry. Louise Casey's findings have rocked London's police force, but she told Sky News the problems are likely to be national. Should there be a Louise Casey-type review into every other police force? I actually think uh, the answer to that is yes, because I think that what we have found, there are some things there, like vetting, like sort of the cultural issues, particularly around race and around women. I think that they are national issues. And I do think we need a wholesale uh, change of public protection, particularly for women. So we need this across the country, a proper delve into what's going on within police forces. I think that we need a root and branch review of policing. Mm. 
After a review, Anna's investigation was reopened, and for that reason, Humberside police say they can't comment further. But Deputy Chief Constable Paul Anderson said child sexual abuse and exploitation is a deplorable and condemnable crime, and we're determined to bring offenders to justice and hold them accountable for their actions. With regard to Sally, the force says misogynistic behaviour will not be tolerated, adding there is an existing robust process in place. Anyone who exhibits any form of misogynistic or discriminatory behaviour will be held accountable for their actions. We are internally communicating with all officers and staff in regards to sexual harassment and have launched our Knowing the Line campaign to raise awareness and to fully encourage reports, whether personal or witnessed, to be made to our professional standards department. Sally says she's still proud to be a police officer, but she's speaking out because she wants her colleagues to make the changes from within. It's now snowballed into a massive thing because it's been hidden for so long and brushed under the carpet that it's now a monster. The Casey Review suggests that monster needs to be exposed and acknowledged before it can be properly tackled. Jason Farrell, Sky News.